Technology is one of the things that I love. When I think of something that I want to do, and when I think it is so challenged, that it's like I can't not sleep until I have, I have it done. I came to the United States with my wife Shelly when I was 26. The biggest effect of my moving to the United States was that suddenly I have resources. There are so many resources available in this country. I have been painting canvases since I was 15, but I did not get a chance to start working with computers until I was 30. I immediately realized that computers is more than just a conventional business tool and also could be used to make art. One of my challenges is to make my ideas to come to reality. I have an idea and then I figure out how to make this idea work. I may have to teach myself a new software and perhaps develop a new software. Physical computer deals a lot with how we can walk away from the mouse and keyboard and control the computer. For example, you can have a webcam and then when you uh, move your hand, you wave your hand, that can trigger a function in the computer, like a projection or a sound. The body sound suit, it's a, it's a work uh, that is based on physical computing. So the performer triggers the sensors, the sensor information, and then that is sent wireless through the other side of the body sound suit, which is a receiver. And that information is translated as a, um, as a sound or graphics. So it goes off the pressure too. Because this sensor, what it does is measure the pressure. The, the stronger, the stronger the signal. Yeah. So when you're going to build your sound, you're going to start soft. If you want soft sounds, you pressure soft. Okay. So and put anything like ballet, whatever you want in it, but make it a sound strong. Okay. And then dance with the music that you make. All right, ready? OK, let's go. I've seen some of Balam's work where the audience themselves are part of the, the presentation, the art. They can, they can come in and, and, and create sound that is broadcasted and dancers are dancing to it and the dancers creating this image so it's interactive or, or I've seen some of his pieces where you walk by it and they light up. So empowering people and making them a, a, a part of the exhibit is very intriguing. What intrigues me the most about Balam's work is his capacity of learning, which makes him a very powerful artist because he can basically uh, keep on learning into what's coming up next and innovating on uh, what's already uh, on cutting edge. Balam's creating art that you can jump into and be a part of it. And I think that's very welcoming and it's very uh, intriguing. Uh, it intrigues me what he's going to be doing next. What is his next project going to be like? What is he envisioning as, uh, in the future? What is the future in Balam's mind?